welcome everyone so today we are going to solve a nice word problem the question is 6 is what percent of 30 okay so here in this case i'm going to show you literally two ways of doing these kind of sums okay the first one is so much easier but unfortunately a lot of students don't know about it or a lot of teachers also don't teach okay actually no let me show this the other way around okay first i'll show you the very basic one okay so the basic one is what let's convert let's convert this entire word question into the mathematical expression so now i write six is in math stands for equals to what percent so i will have x of of stands for multiply 30 so now obviously if i want to find the value of x so i'll divide both sides by 30 Right, so this is cancelling and I'm having 6 upon 30 that is 1s and 5s. So therefore I can say value of x is nothing but just 1 upon 5. But here the answers are given in percentage. So obviously whenever whatever answer you get you have to multiply it by 100 to make sure that your answer you get is in percentage form. So now again things are cancelling and you're getting the value of x as nothing but 20. Okay, so I can say option C is my answer. But like I said, I'm going to show you how to solve this. Okay, literally in your mind or the easier way. Okay, so I will show you actually two more methods. Okay, so let's see. The thing is, see, we'll go by the options. So I have 10%. So we'll do 10%. 10% means what? 10 upon 100 into 30. If that answer gets you 6, then that is your answer. This is cancelling, but here, unfortunately, it is not getting you 6. Similarly, for 15% into 30. So, this is get, this is also not getting you 6. In fact, it is getting you 4.5. So, obviously, option A and option B is gone. Okay, so next one will be what? Okay, I'll just do this for 20%. Okay, so then in that case... In fact, okay, let me explain this one more time. So, this is coming out to be what? 3. Okay, so your only, from this step only, you could have figured out. Achha. So, if I multiply both sides by 2, I get the answer as 6. So, basically, you should get what? 2 into 10, that is 20%. That is my answer. But still, if this is not striking you, here also you can do this. 20%, 20 upon 100 into 30. Here also still, eventually, you will get the answer as 6. So, here I can say option C is my answer now like i said that i'm going to explain one more method okay so what you should be doing is see it's very very simple when you have 30 so i can say 10 percent or rather let's do it on a thoda easier way one percent of 30 is nothing but what 0 0.3 so 10 percent of 30 will be what 3 right 50 percent would be how much? Multiplying both sides by 5. So, it is 15. Right? So, here what you should be doing is, if I want your answer to be 6, I should be multiplying both sides by 2. So, here again 2 into 10, that gets you 20. So, option C is your answer. So, these are three ways in which you can actually solve this. You can stick to whatever works for you all. Now, time for your DIY. Please tell me, 8 is what percent of 160 please tell me your answers in the comment section that's it for today i will see you in the next video